Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maya. This weekend, I'm going to be taking you into my weekend um, reading adventures. So basically what I read in a week, how much I read in a week, and other things like that. You know, just a chillaxing weekend reading vlog. Because you guys asked for more reading vlogs, so I think I'm going to start doing one once a month, maybe. I don't know. No promises. But let's get started. So, um, recently, as many of you know, like a month ago, it was my birthday. And my aunt, she's so good at giving gifts. And she's also a bookworm like me, so I'm gonna show you guys what she got me. Cinder, which I've been wanting to read for like forever, and she has read this before. I actually found out about the series through her, because she read them first and then recommended it to me before I even had book talk or anything. I think she recommended them to me before they were even trending on book talk. And they're not that trending on book talk, but like, lots of people read them also but wait that's not the best part she didn't just get me cinder she got me the whole damn series the whole entire cinder series is in my hands this is a dream come true ah! so little reading update my last read was cinder obviously i read this in like three or four days which is really really fast for me in the beginning of this year wasn't that well of a reading year for me um so far this year, I've been kind of slow in it. I only read a few books, and but this one, usually I take over a week to finish a book, but this one took me only three or four days because it was so interesting and I just like blew right through it. And the book that I'm currently reading is Scarlet. I'm liking it so far. I'm on page 62. And look at this bookmark. It's also Cinder related. I mean, uh, Lunar Chronicles related. So as you can see, it's like a little hook and you put it like that. It's really cool. And uh, let me, um, focus there it has loads of charms oh my gosh this quality is like amazing anyways as you can see there's a lot of charms and each one has to do something related to the books like for example this wrench that is from book one because in book one cinder is a mechanic so a wrench makes sense for that i love it so much cinder a cinderella retelling scarlet red riding hood cress rapunzel winter snow white stars above um i think this is like novellas or something or extra i don't know i don't know um but she couldn't find a cover that matched the other ones so and ferris which is a novella uh, so yeah also what i like is that cinder um from the first book her she's like connected to all of the books like she's in every single one of them and all of them are connected it's like an actual series it's not like okay this retelling is about cinderella this retelling is about rapunzel they're not connected at all but they are connected yes they are it's like a series Eek. So now I have um, a lot of Marissa Mayer books. Before I had the Cinder Collection, I had Heartless and Gilded, which are both also retellings, which I loved. And Marissa Mayer is like my favorite author ever. Her writing just like sucks you in. It's so amazing, her books. So my next read is probably going to be the next book, which is Cress. So since this is a reading vlog and I'm doing lots of reading updates, I should also update you guys. Um, recently I won a giveaway. Um, and I won a book from a small author, it's called Subversion, so you know, promoting it for the author Cause like, we gotta support the small authors I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited to Also, the author of Subversion, she's like really inspiring Like, I follow her Instagram and I look at her stories like all the time And like, her like writing updates, how she's writing books is like really inspiring me to start writing a book I have so much ideas, but I just don't know how to get started Okay, time to put all of these books back where they belong but actually, I'm considering like, kind of like redoing this lower section, like these box sets. Maybe I should move them down a notch, you know? So I'm gonna experiment and see how this goes. Yeah, I'm basically gonna put everything from here on the bottom one and everything from the bottom one to the lower one. I mean, to the upper one. Ta-da! All done. As you can see behind me, I like it like this like a lot, lot more. Cause this bottom row is more like dark colors as you can see like blacks and grays and stuff. So I prefer to keep it on the bottomest level because this one's more bright and like pretty. So I'm keeping it here. <laughs> oh, also I did some rearranging on top, which I got to show you over here on this one. I also did some rearranging cause this one is first like at the same height as this one. So it was like this one is facing front over here and that one was facing front over there. So I moved it to there. Yes, I like it much more like this. It's very, I don't know, but I just, 
I feel good after doing that. Also, the spaces between the shelves is like so big that like I could fit another book like on top of here or on the bottom of there. So maybe when I have a lot of books, like even more than I do right now, then I'll fill it up that way. <laughs> Hey guys, it's the next day, Sunday, and I'm about to read for a bit. It's currently 2.30 p.m. and I haven't read today, um, but yesterday at night I read around like 40 to 50 pages, which was pretty good. My new thing is like to read at least 50 pages a day, so I'm trying to stick to that. And also, this book is really fun, so like I can't help it but read more than 50 pages every day. And I'm also gonna be eating a lollipop while I read. Wait a second, look at this dress. It's so beautiful and perfect, like I love it so much. It's a bit later now. I read for about 30 minutes and now um, I'm gonna go outside. I changed into my swimming suit and I'm gonna read outside because it's very, very warm today and tan at the same time. Hey guys, I'm back inside. I'm very, very hot after um, being out there for like 30 minutes. I was basically reading 30 minutes inside, 30 minutes outside. So in total, around an hour. And in an hour, I managed to read over 50 pages. Let me check to make sure. Yup, 50 pages, which is pretty good for me. So I'm proud of myself of that. Whew, I sure do need some refreshments after that hot day. So obviously I got some kombucha. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with it. The beautiful sounds of kombucha. <laughs> So, while I'm getting refreshed here, I thought to answer some more bookish questions. I said bookish. Bookish questions. As I did last time in my reading vlog, I answered some bookish questions. So, I'm just going to answer a few. Hurry up! Oh! Wait, I'm going to pinch you, okay? No, I'm gonna push you down, okay? Go. No, you did it too fast! <laughs> no, I'm gonna push you out. Okay, bye. Okay, finally, they all have gone away. So, uh, resuming the questions. So, first question is, what books would you like to buy but haven't yet? Um, a lot, actually, but I'm a book buying fan, as I mentioned in, like, millions of my other videos. Um, so, none, I guess, right now. Anyways, next question. Do I have any favorite tropes? Yes, obviously. Like, enemy lovers, um... I don't know what else. <laughs> Next question. Favorite Colleen Hoover book? Um, I don't read Colleen Hoover, so none, I guess. Next question. How many pages do you read in a day? It really depends. Like, today I read 50 pages so far, but, like, um, it's 3.51, so the day isn't over, and I always read before I go to bed. So I'm still gonna read probably, like, at least another 50 pages today. Usually I read around, like, 40 to 120 or something like that. Okay, next question. Most overrated book in your opinion? Song of Achilles. I hated that book. It was like so... Mm, 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 mm. So, I definitely think that is overrated. I don't know how people like that book. And last question I'm going to answer is, when did you start reading? Um, I don't know. Ever since I learned how to read, I love to read. Also, a big percentage of me loving to read is thanks to my mom and my aunt who always gave me books for like my birthday or Christmas or whatever. And then until I started asking for books myself. But yeah, I pretty much like to read since I learned how to. There's loads of more questions, but I don't want this video to be like super long. So that's all that I'm going to answer today. Maybe in the next reading vlog. I'll ask for more questions. By the way, if you want to be in future videos like this, then follow my Instagram. Um, and I often post some of my stories there, and uh, I will ask you guys to ask questions. Hey guys, it's a couple hours later, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's golden hour right now. And my mom just came from grocery shopping at Whole Foods, and she got sushi! This is avocado and mango. Yum, let's eat this while I read. By the way, I'm on page 151 currently of Scarlet. This much through. You know what, I'm actually gonna go inside because, I don't know, I don't want flies to go on my sushi. And it is very warm outside, so I'll still come out and read here, but I'm gonna eat inside and then come out and read outside. First piece. 